Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, the Pow Picks Edition. And uh, I took my honey out for some uh, some supper. And uh, usually, you know, sometimes on Friday nights, I don't do videos, but it's been cold here in the Alberta area, so I'm going to do a video for you, and the video will be Picks for Saturday. If you would like to ensure that you get this fine frolic of picks daily and updates on certain games, also things change, which we'll go through after we do our picks, we'll do our uh, how we did for uh, this evening. Thursday, Friday night, which we did very well. We'll go over that, and um, so we'll wait till that. But we got lots of picks to do, so let's get to them. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and get yourself a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Pearlocopter to your door or your backyard or wherever it fits. You know, don't forget to do that right now. How about now? Good job. Nicely done. Right on. Okay, let's go to, I want to go show you some things we said in the comment section. I show you this because I love commenting. Ronald Sanders just likes to drop in and say hi every once in a while. I always reply to him. Uh, JP, I call him JP. I don't know. I hope he doesn't mind. J. Punsalen or Punsalen. Punsalen, I believe is how you say it. I uh, said, why not make seven videos a day so that you can make my day better? Isn't that nice? It's very nice of you to say that. Then I wouldn't be able to get my 14 naps in, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to not do that. See, 14 naps a day, boys and girls. That keeps everything away. Cures depression, everything. 14 naps a day. Okay, uh, just picking the cap. Pick the caps, and well, it all will be well in Pearl Land, Perlo Land. Um, well, okay, Devondra's a big caps fan, so Devondra comes on, and JP comes on my show between three to five uh, Eastern, Monday to Friday. They come on all the time and do picks and stuff. Monday, I should have my wig. Uh, I had to get dared by the person who won the last picks challenge for the month. They can dare me to do whatever I want for a month. They chose for me to wear a wig. So if you'd like to go see that, you can Monday between 3 and 5 Eastern. Uh, Fath said, of course I agree with you. Connor is the most gifted hockey player ever. And... I could be wrong about that. You can make an argument for a lot. I think Bobby Orr could be there, but I didn't see that. He is definitely the most gifted player I ever saw, and that includes Wayne Gretzky, and I'm an Oilers fan. So, yeah, um, I love Wayne Gretzky. I That doesn't mean that I, I just never seen a guy skate like McDavid ever and do the things that he does. It's never. Uh I didn't, I didn't, that was, that's, that wasn't good, Perlo. Your Edmonton pick, maybe your heart was in the way. Go Caps. Oh, yes. My Edmonton pick wasn't good. But I did not know they were going to put uh, Koskinen in net. And even if he did know, nobody could possibly know that he would let four shots, four goals in on four, the first four shots of the game. And they were bad goals. He even knew they were bad goals because he had a hissy fit and smacked his stick, which he failed to break it the first time and had to do it the second time. That's how bad his night was. Okay, let's go to our picks now. Two, four, the eighth, I believe it is. Where is it? It is right here. Okay, picks for the eighth. We'll go over them quick because we got a lot. Uh, New York Rangers versus the Boston Bruins. I got to keep on going with Boston here. I think the Rangers had their time. It's been a very tumultuous time for them. 
Um, Shesterkin should be a nut, though. And I believe I, I, I don't. I don't think it's to Karask actually, and, and that kind of makes sense. Uh, daily face off, it's the best day. I said it, that's what I use. Um, it's got Swayman and Shesterkin. Either way, no Panarin, uh, still really kind of beat up and everything. I, I think Boston will take that pretty handily. I got it in reg and uh, Probably under five and a half, not big on the total. Um, Pittsburgh Buffalo, uh, might as well go back to that again. Look who's in net here. Maxim Legacy is confirmed against Michael Hauser, who they lit up for eight goals the last game. I'm not big on doing overs on day games, but how do you not over this? Over six, get on it right away. Because this could go to over six and a half. And uh, I don't know. I I know that Maxim Legacy is uh, 28 years old. And his AHL numbers are not stellar. This is going to be a huge game for him. This is really a tough one to cap. Uh, I, I think that after lighting up. Michael Hauser for eight last time. They got a read on him. Pittsburgh does. And I would say that they're probably going to win this one too. So I'm going to take Pittsburgh in regulation. Okay. Tampa versus Florida. Bobrovsky in for Florida. Tampa is on a back to back, I believe. Didn't they just play? Yeah, they did because I picked Dallas. Uh, they're on a back to back. This uh, Vasilevsky will be a net. I don't know. I think they should have played Vasilevsky against Dallas because it's not very likely they're going to win this game against Florida. Florida's rested. I'm taking Florida here. Money line. Even though Bobrovsky's a net. And, you know, I don't like taking Bobrovsky too much. So I'm taking Florida on the money line. What? How much are you getting on that? See, we don't have odds yet. It says 210 in opening, but they're usually way different than everybody else's. So, uh, but I, I think it's going to be somewhere around there. They're going to be a dog at home against a, ba against a team on a back-to-back. -back. I got to go with Florida. Uh, Islanders versus New Jersey. I don't like this game. I really don't. Blackwood in net, Varlamov in net. The Islanders can't seem to score to save their lives. Uh, might as well take New Jersey on the puck line if you're going to play this game. If you really, really want to play this game. New Jersey on the puck line and the under. The under is probably the better bet here because New Jersey also... Uh, New Jersey can score a lot, but... The Islanders should be rocking Varlamov here. They do need to uh, still get some wins. And they certainly don't want to be going into the playoffs on the losing streak that they're on right now. So I think Varlamov will be in. And Blackwood, the Islanders have a problem with Blackwood. And most of the, most of the teams have had a problem with Blackwood when he's been healthy. So I'm going to take New Jersey puck line. I think you're getting... I'm not bad on that. Yeah, 180. Nothing wrong with that. Might as well take New Jersey on the puck line. That's probably your best odds for your best, uh, to best uh, get, bringing your best return is what I'm trying to say. Washington versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia is going to have Lyon in that. Lyon did win one game this year, but I mean, he's not going to be doing that too often. I'm a little concerned about who Washington is putting in though. As it is, they're going back to back with Banachek which I'm not huge on either, see? Uh, that's what they say. But I don't know. Who is even their backup right now? I don't even know myself. Somebody tell me in the comment section. The one thing I do know is you got you got to go the over here. So you got to go the over. What are they giving you right now? Total. Six and a half. Even at six and a half. With those two goaltenders, I'm going over. 
Uh, I can understand why it's six and a half because those are really bad goaltenders and both of these teams can score. Philadelphia has been trying to play a lot better defense, but, and you got to take into, I guess we should take into consideration. We, I don't know who's going to be back from injury. Oh, there is Simpson. Oh, he's, oh, he's in COVID protocol. Wow. So they're going to probably play Vanacek back to back. I don't think they're too confident in their goaltending Washington. Um, Washington, let's look at their backup. This is cap friendly. That's the best way I said it. Non roster is Phoenix. Who's on the taxi squad? Like, they don't even have. No, if they're going to put Pucali in nearly. Wow. Uh, I think they'll be going back to back with Vanacek. And if that's the case, I'm still going to lean Washington and regulation, but and and go the over. Okay. To Detroit, Columbus. You might as well take Detroit. Uh, they're going to be putting Kevin in again back to back. The guy does not put good numbers in the AHL. Now he's playing back to back. It should be Bernier. I don't know why they keep on going with Grice. It should be Bernier here, in which case I like Detroit. And uh, I'm not sure about the total, though. Are they going to go back to a five again? Can't tell. We'll have to see what the total is going to be. If it's five and a half, I lean the under. If it's five, I probably fade, to tell you the honest truth. I just don't have much faith, faith in this Kevalinkas kid. But then I don't know how much Columbus is going to be able to score on Bernier. Tough call. Tough call. Toronto versus Montreal. Uh, I'm taking Toronto in regulation. Uh, yeah, 183. Uh, they're just a better team. Montreal ha hasn't. It's they're too inconsistent for me to do anything else here. I'm taking Toronto in regulation. Simple as that. Uh, Montreal should be have Allen in net. So what about the over under on this? I heard Anderson might be back. I think under six, and I don't know why. Uh, Ottawa versus Winnipeg. I'm going to go Winnipeg. They they just played in Calgary. Ottawa's just traveled across the country, I believe. Um, let's go to this one. Everybody can see what I'm doing. Ottawa, Montreal. Yeah, they did, but it was two days ago. I'm still going to lean Winnipeg. Mm. Winnipeg just came off a big win off of Calgary. Hollabuck played really well. Hopefully he's back on his horse again. Yeah, Winnipeg and the under. Um, can you guys see what's going on here? Okay. Um, Minnesota versus Anaheim. This, th this is a tough game because Miller is going to be playing this game. And it might be his last game of his career. And Minnesota just had a tough time against Stanheim this last game. The more I think about it, Talbot versus Miller, he should have a big game. Against his last game of his – and they should play hard for him. I'm going to take – I think I'm going to go Anaheim on the spread. I don't know what it's going to be. It's probably going to be about 180. It's probably your best bet here. Anaheim's been really playing well too, so – Anaheim on the spread. Uh, and uh, under five and a half. Carolina versus Nashville. Carolina's just played st a stupid amount of hockey. Um, last count, I believe it was 
uh, eight games in 13. This will be nine games in 14. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to take Nashville here because you're getting a dog money against a very tired go team. Soros will be in net against Nedeljkovic. I'm going to lean the under five and a half. And I'm going to go with Nashville. Uh, just Carolina will play hard, but that's too much to ask. Uh, Colorado versus Los, Los Angeles. I think they're going to be going with Dubnik here. The only thing I do know about this game, is, uh, that's, I, I'm going to go with the over. And we're not, we don't have a total here. It's probably five and a half. I'm going to go with the over. And I'll probably go back to Colorado to win. They played really well uh, this uh, last night. Uh, and I think they'll go back to the same sort of thing tonight. Los Angeles is out of it. So it's I'm, I'm more on the total, though, the over. Uh, St. Louis versus Vegas. Uh, Vegas won tonight. I think with Huso in and Flurry, I got to go back to Vegas again. I'm going to take Vegas, and I'm always going to go the over when these two play, and it's probably going to be five and a half. Um, Vancouver, Edmonton. Vancouver got lucky last time. They had Koskinen, and they scored on the first four shots. Edmonton outplayed them, and I believe this will be a revenge game. They're not going to want to lose two games in a row against them, and I believe they will win this. Uh, watch for goaltending. It should be Smith and possibly Demko. I'm not sure on the total. I want to say over six. I really think Edmonton's going to be out to uh, do some damage after that loss. I, uh, to prove themselves is what I want to say. And Arizona San Jose, after what I watched, and oh, they're going to have some guy from uh, San Jose's playing in net. You got to take Arizona. When I show you who's in net, you're going to be like, who? And I'm going to be like, yeah, exactly. I watch and talk about hockey constantly all the time and uh, I don't even know who he is where is he now where the heck is he there he is Melnichuk he has terrible AHL numbers uh, I believe it'll probably be Hill I like the over, and I like Arizona on them in reg. In reg. I'll take Arizona in reg. Okay, I got to get out of here. Holy smokes, look at how long we're going here. Oh, not that bad, 18 minutes. Oh, yeah, but we haven't even looked at yesterday's game. So if that's all you wanted, welcome. Thank you for coming in and taking your picks. Go make some money out there. If you want to see a little more on how we do picks and why we make money and how much money we make, which is usually every, I, I had one uh, week where I lost money all week, all year, and we're up like 45 units or something like that. We're up a lot. We hit a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, I'll quickly go, I'm going to go very quickly here. Uh, Golden Knights, we had the Knights and over. Boom, nailed it. Avalanche, we had the Avalanche and over. Over did not nail the over, but we did nail the over and uh, avalanche in regulation. Uh, we did not get this, but we did have the over, and I believe the over was the bigger bet here. So, uh, yeah, we liked the over, uh, but I, I kind of thought the sharks might pull it out, but they didn't. Uh, we had the stars, but we also had the under that ended up being a little bit up because the stars were plus money. We had the Flyers uh, and the over, but it was a wash. So we're up there. We had the Red Wings on the puck line, I believe, which paid like 157 and the under, it was a wash. And we had the Wild and the under, it was a wash. So we were up like four or five units, something like that again. Oh, I forgot. The over here was for five pearls. Forgot about that. That was our pick of the night. 
Golden Knights versus Blues over was our pick of the night. So we pulled up a lot, about five to six units, five to six pearls. So that puts us up, what, 14 pearls for the week, something like that. Not too shabby. We got Sunday to go. We'll see how we do Sunday. I won't be doing picks for Sunday, though, because I've taken a little breaky-poo. I do that. Usually I do that on the weekends, but it's been warm or been cold, so I haven't been going out as much on the weekends. So you're getting free nights on Friday nights. That's my full 42, boys and girls. You guys go out there and put your bets in. Have a great weekend. Lots of love to you, Cape. Bye.